Hey, what's going on guys? It's Fabio here and today we're testing out the Honor 8 Pro's rear-facing cameras but in 60 frames per second this time. So we're shooting at full HD, that's 1080p, um, but this time at 60 frames per second. If you want to watch my 30 frames per second test, I'll leave it up here. Uh, that has a full sort of tour of my garden and I give a, a, a more of an explainer on the features this phone has. In this one I'll keep it a little bit shorter, just want to take you around. So let me flip around the camera and um, yeah, I'll show you how the camera performs at 60 frames per second recording at full HD so here we go right so we've got quite a bit of strong sunlight hence that little flare there but let's uh, let's get some movement going now the important thing to remember here is that recording at 60 frames per second the Honor 8 Pro doesn't have stabilization um, at 30 frames per second however it does so you just to do a similar test to my other video just, you know looping around you don't have the stabilization here although it does seem to be performing well nonetheless. Now for those of you who don't know, obviously recording at 60 frames per second means that you're capturing more frames every second and that in turn creates sort of a smoother, smoother motion, uh, which is great for, you know, anything uh, action related. So if you're recording skateboarders or any, any sort of rapid movement, uh, the higher frames per second, the better. So for this kind of movement, 30 frames per second actually suffices, but if you want to do sort of quick pans like that, or just general quick movement, you want more, fr more frames per second. Uh, but like I said, I just want to give you a quick run through, give you an idea of the details again. It's quite bright here today. Let me just do a quick focus test, 60 frames per second. You know, my hand movement, there is, interestingly, there's a little bit of lag from when I actually put my hand forward to when it shows up on camera but that's probably due to the higher frames per second not quite sure but yeah let me know what you guys think I quite like the, the you know it's very colorful and vibrant um, some might call it a bit saturated the image quality but I like it very sharp as well I like this camera let me know what you guys think in the comments leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe for more tech related videos in future take care guys